Okay. All right. So, we are getting started late, but we are getting started. And this game looks like it's going to take an interesting twist, because the weather is extreme. Yeah, that's not a catch. Wait, is that a catch? I have no idea what to make of that one. I don't know if he caught it and then fell down or what. That's not ideal. Okay. Um. here. All right, everything's good there. Excuse me. All right, guys, well, we're getting started about 20 minutes late, but we are started, so uh, sorry about that. The game hasn't gotten off to the greatest start either. It's currently 7 nothing, Oregon State. There we go. All right, now we're really ready to go. Okay, the on-screen chat might not be working today. Hey, Jordan, what's up? All right, here we go. Second and ten. Washington does keep the ball. Okay, there we go. It is working. Under center. Bunch tight to the line is everybody. Blitz coming. He steps up away from it, throws it. Incomplete. I think the receiver fell down. And that'll bring up third and ten. <clears throat> that blitz was very well picked up, though. Not bad. Yeah, Polk. Yeah, he was the intended receiver. There might have been something there, but he did go down. Third and ten. And we really can't afford to be punting because it looks like the defense might have problems in this game after all. 
A little early to be sure, but very possible. Snap. Pressure picked up. Panics. Short completion, not even close to a first down. Going to be pickup of like four or five. And the punt team comes on, so not ideal. I need banana, tasty banana. So, um, not three and out, but not a successful drive either. Punt is away. Doesn't look like a great punt. Wow. That was off the side of his foot. Yep. That's like a 20-yard punt. Hello. Yeah. And here we go. They got the ball at the 30. I got it on ESPN2. Snap. Pitch play going right. Defense stringing it out. And he gets like a yard before being chased out. So with these wins, I guess you're going to see a lot of running. Which plays to their hands, but we should be able to run the ball too. All right. Snap, drops back, looks, pressured, rolls out, passes batted down at the line. Nice play. And that'll bring up third and eight. Oh, yeah. I've had that happen a couple times, Seahawks country. Not exactly like that, but... The idea is the same. I've had I've had things like that before. So I get it. Okay, here we go. Third and eight. Shotgun flanked by two. Ooh, handoff up the middle, draw play, and it's six. Ooh. I think there was a pre-snap whistle. Because he decided to just stop running after 10 yards. That was actually a really sneaky uh, little draw play there they, they got there. And I think it would have picked up the first if it didn't get blown dead. What? Well, I guess they're just saying there was no timeout called and there was an inadvertent whistle. So, uh, Oregon State can't be happy about that because I think they had that first down were it not for the uh, play not counting. Drops back to pass, fires, caught. Just a nice little, like a hook route for about 10 yards on third and eight. Not terrible coverage either. I wish me leaning up close like this didn't make me look all bleached. Like the coloring here looks really good. All right, here we go. First and 10 from the 42. Going to be a run play going right. Decent-sized hole. He breaks a tackle. Picks up nine. 
if we can't stop the run, I don't see how anything good happens today. I'll say that because this team loves to just run the ball. Oh, yeah, it's been raining all day. Second and one, I formation. Play action, drops back, throws it deep over the middle. Incomplete. Nobody really there. Third and one. Interesting decision. But I assume they feel confident in their ability to just run for it here. Are they rotating quarterbacks? And QB draw gets the first and a couple more. So they are rotating quarterbacks a little bit, I guess. Interesting. By the way, can somebody... Uh, uh, we got like 20 people in here. Thank you for coming out. Please like the stream if you haven't already. What's up, Trevor? Oh, that sounds like fun. I'm going to check that game out for sure. Yeah, Coletto. <clears throat> this Huskies defense looks on their heels right now. I gotta be honest, so hopefully the run defense shows up at some point. Run play going right, nice hole, gonna pick up about six. Yeah, this looks more like last year's Huskies team where uh, they really couldn't stop the run at all. I feel pretty good, Trevor. I feel good about it. Second and four from the 41. <clears throat> Handoff going left. Another big hole. First down. Broken tackle inside the 30, the 25, the 20. Taken out at about the 15. And we cannot stop the run. So that means today is going to be a long day. I believe the uh, Beavers currently have about 80 yards rushing 10 minutes into the game. And we got a Husky injured. Uh, it's Banks. I think he's okay, but he's coming off for the moment. I don't mind the rain, but I better not lose power this year, man. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. I better not lose power. Especially next week. If I lose power next week, I'm going to be mad. I'm trying to stream God of War for the masses. Uh-oh, broken tackle, another nine yards. Flag down, though. <coughs> I think it's on Oregon State. Yep, holding. All right, bring it back. Now, Trevor, I, I still... Look, Tampa Bay's not playing well right now. That is not a terrible team. And I don't think it's a great matchup. So I would still say that Tampa Bay is still a team to be concerned about. So I'm not 100% convinced of anything there. All right, here we go. First and 20. If you can't get off the field now. Snap, drops back. 
Screen pass to the back. He's got some blockers. He's got about 10, 11 yards. And that's going to bring down, bring up second down and manageable. And, uh, well, it's pretty clear what Oregon State wants to do on offense. But the question is, can you stop it? Second and ten. All right. Screen wide receiver screen pass. He's got open space, and it's gonna be like third and one. And uh, yeah, this defense just looks flat footed, which is weird because we're playing at home and we had a bye week last week. <coughs> So, I don't know why they look sloppier than usual. Like, I know it's not a great defense, but I thought the areas in which they were bad were specific. By the way, can you guys still hear me okay when I do this? Third and one. Fullback moves to the right side of the formation. Hand off, and he runs into a husky behind the line, and I don't think he got it. So, this is going to be a very interesting fourth down decision. All right, this is a very interesting decision here. ZTF got in the backfield, stuffed up the run before it got anywhere close to the line to gain. And they're lining up to go for it on fourth, and they're saying fourth and two. It's definitely a short two. Okay, in the gun, snap, QB, keeper, and not even close. All right, we stopped him on the QB keeper, at least a yard short, and Washington's going to take over deep in their own territory, but they will take over. <clears throat> uh, Trevor, I like Call of Duty, but I'm not interested in playing the newer games. There's no way I'm going to get $60 out of a game like Modern Warfare 2. I like to play single-player games mostly anyway. So, Modern Warfare 2 remast Remake is something I might do... Like, when it's several years old, and you can play it for very cheap. Well, if they call the false start, you know Oregon State probably just kicks the field goal, so this is definitely a better outcome. Besides, I already pre-ordered Ragnarok, so next week I'm going to have a new game to stream, and that's going to take priority over everything else. I thought about doing the Gotham Knights game for co-op, but apparently it's not very good. So I'm skipping it. It'll probably be free to play on the Epic Game Store in like a year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Still in commercial break, guys. Still in commercial break.
Well, Sam, I mean, the defense was terrible last year, so it's not shocking. The offense turned it around instantly because of the new system and coaching and quarterback. <coughs> but it honestly makes sense that this defense wouldn't be that good. They lost two really good corners, and they didn't replace them very well. Yeah. I know that feeling, Ethan. All right, here we go. First and ten at our own seven. And in motion, pistol formation, snap, play action. Penix drops back into his own end zone, throws it over the middle, caught. That's going to be about 20 yards to McMillan, I think. Yeah, something like that. And that's a pretty good start to the drive. Ooh, oh, that got deflected by the linebacker, and he still got it. Snap, blitz, freer. Ooh, that was almost picked off and almost caught and almost a sack. All at the same time, but it ended up just being an incomplete pass. I can dig it. Second and ten, pistol, three receivers. <clears throat> Actually, I think it's four receivers, excuse me. <clears throat> Running play going left. Cam Davis has a lot of room. And he's going to get taken down after about eight yards, bringing up third and short. Third and short coming up for the Huskies. Yo. Going to be a running play going left. And he's going to... Be close to the marker. I don't know if he got it. I think... Ooh, there's a flag down. It probably doesn't even matter. Um, I think he had the first down, but what's the flag? Ooh, looks like it's on the defense. Personal foul. Targeting. Wow, so we might be getting an ejection on top of it. Okay. I don't know if it's a first, but if the targeting stands, where's... who? I don't know who they're calling this on, though. I don't know... Is it that guy right there? <clears throat> lowering his head? I don't know. I'm confused. If it's... If the penalty gets picked up, I don't know if it's a first or not. I feel like it is, but I'm not sure what they're going to call. Yeah, no targeting. So let's see if the first down stands or not. Um, I don't know, Eric. Probably Jackson Kirkland. Probably Kirkland. The uh, offensive lineman for UW. I know that much. All right. It is a first down, though. First and ten. <coughs> Shotgun, three receivers to the bottom. Going to be a running play, kind of a draw for, looks like no gain. Nothing opened up. And that's going to bring up second and ten. Shotgun snap coming. Drops back. Throws it short. Wow. 
Very well covered. Caught, but only going to be like a four-yard pickup. Third and manageable coming up. And that'll probably be the last play of the first quarter. So, not a great first quarter, but still just 7 nothing. And we are going to line up here, actually. In the pistol. Maybe snap it. Nope, just trying to get him to jump. Okay, <clears throat> so that is the end of the first quarter. Not a great first quarter, but everything's still well within control. We're down 7 nothing. We have the ball, third down and medium coming up. And um, quite simply, our defense is going to have to <coughs> clamp down on the run because that's how this Oregon State team is going to try to beat you. What do you think about signing David Moore for receiver depth? Would be fine. Can't be that terrible. Yeah, Sam, they are moving it, but we're hanging in there. Oh, so many commercials. Stop showing me boomer commercials. Let's go. Yeah, not really sure what to make of this game right now. Like, it hasn't started the way I was hoping or expecting. Uh. Four receivers, one tight end, I think. No, wait, I think we're going to spread. Third and six. Shotgun snap. Pressure's picked up all right. Ooh, incomplete over the middle. I don't know who that was to, O'Dunsey or Westover, but it zipped over everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, at least we flipped field position, but with the way this defense is playing, how much does that matter? We'll, we'll find out. All right.
Hunt is dropped. He gets it away, but it's straight up. And that's going to be like a two-yard punt. Oh, my God. Wow. I don't know if that got blocked or if he just punted it straight up in the air. Yeah, Austin. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I can do to make custom badges. I'm still thinking about it. Like, it should be something specific to the channel, right? Play action, rolls out, short completion, going to be for about six or seven. I think, that, oh, that's two Coletto. So, yeah, it is kind of a two-quarterback offense. <clears throat> All right, second and four near the 25. Run play going left. He cuts back, picks up three, and that's going to bring up third and one. All right, well, decent chance to mitigate the disaster that was that entire sequence. QB sneak. I think he got it. Pretty close, honestly, though. Yeah, the thing is, Austin, it's going to be so small. How is anybody going to be able to tell? What do you think of drafting a defensive line player one and a set linebacker with our second and first round? Yeah, I love that ideal, Raphael. That's almost close to the ideal. First and 10 at about the 22. Hand off up the middle, decent sized hole, gonna pick up like five. Mm, one sec. Okay, another handoff, and he's tripped in the backfield. He's tripped in the backfield. No gain. I think he tripped on the grass. And going to be in a short completion, but quick tackle, three yards shy of the marker. And that should set up a field goal attempt. I don't think Oregon State's going to go for it here, unless the wind is really, really bad. Thank you, Raphael. Appreciate it. Wait, are they going for it? Mm. Going to be a play action. He's rolling out, looking, floats it to his back, incomplete. And Washington comes up with another fourth down stop. So I'm guessing kicking is just out of the question because of the wind. That's the only thing I can think of. So... Washington gets kind of bailed out of a really bad situation there. Not bad.
I'm not sure, Austin. I think so, but I might go to bed. I can wake up early and do Twitch. I'm not sure yet. There aren't that many people around <clears throat> by the time I'll be able to get on, so we'll see. Hey, Scott, what's up? Probably Austin, yeah. Okay, here we go. First and ten. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hand off. Up the middle. Maybe picked up like half a yard. Not much. Second and nine. Snap. Handoff going right, and that's going to pick up like a yard and a half, maybe. So, uh, yeah, running game not working well. Passing game not working great either, to be perfectly honest. Ooh, what's the flag? <clears throat> After the play, unsportsmanlike, offense, oh my god, so, well, that's not, that's a drive killer, what happened, is that O'Dunsey, or McMillan, nah, just a bunch of silly stuff. So, 3rd and 16, we are going to spread it out and obviously take a shot here. Offensive line's playing all right, so they should be able to get off some kind of a pass here. And it's going to be a screen to McMillan. He's got blockers. He makes a miss. First down and more. The 30, the 35. And I'm sorry, that's O'Dunsey, not McMillan. Well-designed, well-executed screen pass. And, uh, yeah, Huskies moved the chains in a situation where things looked kind of dead.
All right, first and 10. Snap. Half-hearted play action. Penix looks deep. Apparently nothing's there because he's just going to chuck the ball away to avoid the sack. He had plenty of time, so nothing developing. Okay, second and ten. Three receivers, one tight end, one back shotgun. Another wide receiver screen, and that's a disaster. Loses a yard, immediately swallowed up the moment he caught the ball. <coughs> Did not sell that one, and it's third and eleven. Oh, that's a bad block by Westover. What the heck is he doing? Is he stoned? Yep. Nice. Completion near the boundary, near the sideline for McMillan. About 15 yards. Just past the sticks. Out route. And the drive stays alive. Two third and long conversions for the Huskies here, guys. Oh. Hey, Jeffrey, how you doing tonight, man? Just past midfield, first and ten, under center. Kind of a three tight end look. Going to be a reverse to Polk. He's got some blocking, he's got a first down, and he's got about 13 yards before getting knocked out of bounds. Decent play, and that's a good way to try to stretch out the defense a little bit. I need banana. Gonna be a shotgun snap, kind of a bunch for me. Oh, now they spread out. Looks like a five receiver set, actually. And Penix is gonna roll out, throw it deep to the end zone. Oh, almost caught by McMillan, but he got hit just as the ball arrived. Nice play by the safety. And, uh,. That looked dangerous either way, and McMillan, act, I, I think he would have caught that if not for the safety with one hand. What do you think of the Beavers' defense? They're good. <coughs> um, but the weather is playing a huge factor in why the offense is struggling as much as they are. Hey, Lions. Ugh. 656 to go in the half. Snap, play action, half-heartedly. Looking, looking, has all day. Throws it to the sideline. Polk lets it bounce off his hands. The cornerback was right there, in fairness, and hitting him right as the ball got there, but probably should have caught that one. Third and 10 coming up, and I'm guessing there are no field goals in this game. So if we don't get this, we either go for it or we punt. I'm guessing that you can't kick a field goal of this length. Third and ten. Come on, Michael Penix. Looks like, what? Four receivers and a bake. Snap. Blitz picked up. Throws it over the middle. Off the hands of Odunzi. This uh, secondary is playing these receivers really tight, which is surprising to me.
Yeah, nothing. nothing's coming easy. So what are we going to do here? Fourth and ten, are we going for it? Oh, that's cool, Lions. Okay, here we go. Fourth and ten from the 33. Penix drops back, has some time. Pumps, throws, wide open, caught at the 15 by McMillan. That's a first down, 17-yard pickup. And uh, I believe we're at the 15-yard line, so red zone opportunity for the Huskies. Thank you, Bash. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to start utilizing it elsewhere, too, like Twitter and Twitch. Okay, we've got three receivers, a tight end. No, three receivers, two tight ends. Interesting set here. I like it. Man in motion, goes to the backfield, loops back out. Penix drops back. Short completion over the middle to Culp, and he's going to run for about another five yards to pick up maybe nine or ten. And uh, it's either second and one or first and goal. Yeah, I, I think I am. First and goal. Handoff up the middle. Going to be a gain of about two. Second and goal coming up. Cam Davis. Still struggling to run the ball a little bit here, by conventional means at least. And off up the middle, met in the backfield, but he keeps going and going, and he got to about the one and a half before finally getting taken down. Nice power by Talu Papa there. Third and two to score, maybe. Yeah, I think he's got to about the two. And, uh, yep, third and goal. And we're going to do Wildcat. Talu Papa is going to take it in the end zone. Touchdown. Wildcat. Going left. And that puts Washington on the board. Extra point is good. Seven, seven. <clears throat> well, the Rams got some players back. They got Brian Allen back. They got Van Jefferson back. <clears throat> I think they deserve some credibility. All right, that was not easy, but we did it. God damn it, I hate Kyle Allen so uh, Keenan Allen so much.
Okay. 4.23 left in the second half quarter. <clears throat> hey, at least the Lions might get C.J. Stroud. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Kickoff is away. Fielded at the 6. It's going to be returned up to the 20. He's got some space in front of him. The 30, the 35. Flag down. Broken tackle down at about the 40. There was a flag quite a while ago, though, so let's see how this holds. Holding on the kit on the receiving team. All right, so this is going to get moved way back. I don't think Gino would sign a two-year deal. I think teams could give him four years. That wouldn't shock me. More commercials. I think Philly's really good. I I think Philly, I, I would not sleep on Philly. That is a genuinely good team that does things that are hard to stop. Okay, running the ball up the middle, nice hole, going to be about six yards, up to the 31. We got a pre-snap flag. Somebody jumped.
Snap, blitz, pressure, but it's completed out to a receiver for about five or six yards and the first down. A little slant pass over the middle. Yeah, I don't think Minnesota's as good as their record. Dallas's defense is legit. I'll say that much. Their defense is pretty legit. Ooh, pressure. QB escapes it and manages to throw it away. Oh, that should have been a sack. Good pressure and everything and just couldn't quite get to him. Person Schroer, thank you for the member message. We'll be watching Will Leave Us in person tomorrow against a great defense, so we will see what he's got. Yeah. I feel like he's playing with 800 different injuries. I kind of feel like he should just sit out the rest of the year. But obviously, he can't go to the bench after what he did against Tennessee. So, hopefully, he can at least show some something encouraging going for the rest of the year, I guess. Going to be a run of about six yards just uh, to the right side, outside. Yeah, I'm a big Will Levis fan, but he's he's not really getting it done right now. Okay, third and four. Snap. A little bit of pressure. Play blown dead. I'm out Washington. Well, I mean, David, if uh, if it comes to that, I'm sure they'll do the Hail Mary. They don't trust their kicker at all, clearly. And I'm thinking maybe we can get the ball back here. DJ Stroud is the only guy who I think is actually a top QB prospect in this class at this point. I really like Levis, but it's not a sure thing right now. 
But I think Stroud is pretty can't miss personally. Maybe he won't be super elite, but I think he'll be a good pro for sure. All right. Um, okay, that's the replay. Third and four. Big down. Well, tonight the defense hasn't been that bad. It's just, overall, yeah, we could really use Jimmy Lake back in the coaching staff. I don't think he's coming back, though. Didn't he beat up a player? Snap. Going to be a running play up the gut, and it's going to go nowhere. And if Washington wants to use another timeout here, they can get the ball back with some time. Maybe they preserve the timeout. Either way, they're getting the ball back. Uh, with the opportunity to go do something. And we get the ball first to start the second half. Was that? What? Oh. Probably Carson, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> they're punting fourth and four, and that's away. Pretty, pretty decent punt. It's going to bounce out around the twenty yard line. Washington's going to have one timeout and a minute forty three. All right, first and 10 from the 20, 103 seconds left in the half. Penix in the shotgun, drops back, looks, fires it right side, caught for about eight yards to Jackson. And the clock is going to roll, so that's not an ideal play. Snap, drops back. Throws it over the middle. Oh, God. Right to the linebacker. That That's a pick six. Um, yeah, okay. Disaster is here, people. Penix, awful decision. Threw it right to the linebacker over the middle like a Madden lurk. And uh, bad. Really bad. That's a touchdown. Yeah, he just doesn't see the linebacker at all. And the throw is a good probably three or four yards behind McMillan. Ugh. Well, we're going to get the ball back here again with 50 seconds left, so we are 70 seconds. So we will have time to go down and do something. In theory. Extra points, good. Not what we needed. No problem, Madison. I got you. Thank you. We can't lose at home. Come on, guys.
Yeah, too bad Steve Entman couldn't do anything in the NFL. If those skills had translated, it would have been a lot of fun for that Colts team. I think he went to the Colts. Was it the Colts or the Lions? That's going to be a touchback. I think C.J. Stroud's like 6'5", right? All right, here we go. Five receivers, shotgun. Penix drops back, fires... Caught first down, and he gets out after about 11-yard gain. Nice play by Odunzi. Oh, 6'3". For some reason, I thought he was 6'5". Still plenty good enough, of course. Still taller than Gino, and Gino's tall enough. Drops back, fires over the middle, caught. No! McMillan just dead ass dropped it. Wow. Should have been an easy catch right in his hands. I thought he had it. Ball squirts out. That would have been across midfield. Wow. He had multiple chances at it, too. Brutal. Yeah, sure, why not, Addison? Of course. NFC's not good. And I think McMillan's down. I think he's faking it because of that drop he just had. But he is getting attended to. Second and 10, 57 seconds. Four receiver shotgun snap coming. Penix, complete to O'Dunsey along the sideline. He could have gone out of bounds. Instead, he got like five extra yards. It's college, so it's fine. Jeffrey, thank you for the member message. I mostly like Will Levis because the one common thing in the QBs that work out is they didn't come from the top schools. And saw adversity. I, 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 That's one of the things I like about him too. The problem is he's getting so beat up this year. I wonder if it's going to affect his college career. Goes deep. Odunzi was grabbed. Yeah, flag down. He was going deep down the left side to Odunzi. And I think he got grabbed. Pass interference on the defense. All right. Levis is not injury prone, I don't think. He just, he's getting the crap kicked out of him this year and he's playing through a lot of stuff. 
First and 10, looks like a blitz is coming. I think we have movement on the Huskies line. That is going to be a false start, I believe. Yep, false start. Move it back five yards. Yeah, his line this year is atrocious. Moving out of the pocket to the right, throws it, almost intercepted. I kind I don't know what was going on there. I don't know if he was trying to throw it away or what. That was kind of ugly. Second and 15 with 28 seconds. Still one timeout left. Okay, here we go. Come on. Second and 15. We're not in field goal range, I don't think. Blitz picked up. Throws it. Misses West over. He had him open coming across the middle. He may have run for close to a first down there, but not a good throw. Third down and 15. I don't know if we can kick a field goal with the conditions being what they are. Timeout, somebody. I think it's timeout, Oregon State. Here we go, third and 15. Snap. Drops back, has time, has time. Throws it, caught by Westover, going to pick up like four yards, I think. And what now? Do you go for the Hail Mary with no time left? Do you kick the longish field goal? Like, what's your play? <clears throat> Clock stops with about 12 seconds to go. Like they're going for it. Fourth and 11, and we got a stoppage. I think Oregon State used their timeout. Uh, not right now, Soggy, no. I don't think they can have that discussion right now. Like, that assumes that X knows he's going to step away. 
Like that assumes that Carroll's already planning on stepping away. In Carroll's mind, he might be the he might plan on being the coach for the next ten years. Yeah, I did, HP. Penix drops back, looks, has time, fires. Inner dropped. That may have been a pick six if it got picked off, but incomplete. Oregon State takes over with eight seconds left, and I'm sure they're just going to need out. But, uh, fl ooh, flag down. Probably after the change of possession. If it's on Washington, that's actually kind of bad because it sets them up to maybe go for something here. Oh, illegal substitution on Oregon State. So we get the fourth down over again, I think. So now it's fourth and six. Nobody has any timeouts. You could kick here. No. Where's 12? Huh. I don't know. This is confusing. I only see 11 players on the defense. Okay, they are reviewing it. No. Hurry up. Yeah, no foul. Yeah, Oregon State's going to have it and probably knee it out. Yep, they're needing it out. All right, so we're going to have a bit of a halftime here, and then we're going to come back and do this second half here. 14-7 Oregon State, not really a great start to this game, not really what I hoped for. Obviously, the weather's playing a huge factor. Penix not playing particularly well. The offense in general not really producing that much. Defense, hit it. Uh, there's some good stuff, but they've been kind of running the ball down your throat overall. And, uh, yeah, with this wind, I don't know what to expect. But uh, I will be back, and we will figure it out together. See you guys soon. Bow down to Washington.
All right. Let's get it. Ugh. Woo. Jeffrey, thank you for the ten dollars super chat. Getting the donating starting tonight started tonight. Looks like the commander stole our next owner prospect. I wanted the Amazon guy. We get ownership by committee. We won't see another Super Bowl ever. Too much red tape to tape to the purse strings. <clears throat> um, yeah, it would have been nice, but there are other billionaires in this area that could absolutely get in on that. So... I mean, honestly, Steve Ballmer. What's stopping Steve Ballmer, right? Why wouldn't Steve Ballmer buy the Seahawks? I'm not sure, decobism. That stuff seems to be random. Usually I run behind other people. There will always be other owner prospects. That's really all I can say. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Blazer's still killing it. Hey, big memes. Yeah, Soggy, I think that's probably where this is going to end up. I uh, That's kind of what I expect at this point. Logan, it's uh, because there's so much wind, nobody can kick. People can only kick extra points. Yeah, I remember him, Lions Mania.
Yeah, it's too bad. He, he wasn't somebody I had pegged as a big-time pro. I, I, I didn't think he was going to be like this, but I, I, I did think he was going to be... I didn't think he was going to be anything amazing. <clears throat> Still have time, by the way, guys. They're really taking their time. But that's usually how it is in college football, honestly. Yeah, I saw some of it, Lions Mania. El Soggy, we definitely need somebody better than, uh, they definitely need somebody better than Brooks. Barton's probably going to be here another year on his rookie deal. But Brooks is, uh, I'm sorry, Barton is a free agent. And he's just not good enough. There are going to be some guys. There are going to be some guys worth going after. I've heard about Ivan. He's Texas, right? Ivan Pace. I've heard good things. I'm going to have to look into him a little bit. Yeah, Jack Campbell from Iowa marching up boards. But can he cover? <clears throat> I mean, if I look into his game.
Hey, Green Earth. <clears throat> oh, okay, Ivan Pace, Cincy. All right, here we go. Kick off a coming. Kickoff is going to be at about the 11, going to be taken to the 20, the 25, 30, going to make some people miss and go down at about the 38. Good kick return. And off up the middle. No, that was a pretty well done fake, but it didn't pick up anything. I think he lost two yards. Yeah, it was the uh, jet sweep. Well defended. Wow, very nice. Nicely done. And off going left, and he's going to pick up like four, maybe five. <clears throat> okay, third and ten. Blitz is picked up. He's got time. Can't find anybody. Takes off over the middle. He's got a spin. He's going to be like two and a half yards short. I don't think we go for it because of the way Penix has played tonight, but uh, fourth and three. Nope, we're punt teams on. Frustrating. Punt is away. Looks like a pretty good one. It's going to bounce inside the 10, get caught. Going to be returned out to the 25, 26. So pretty good punt return. All right. Not good coverage. Nobody was really down there where he caught it. Dang. All right. Oregon State ball.
Running play going left, nothing. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey, I would never go back on that trip to the playoff. Even if <clears throat> there's a possibility there, I certainly wouldn't give it back. Second and 10. Going to quick pass, pump fake. Ooh, dropped. Receiver had a five-yard catch with the potential of a few more yards, but it bounced right off his, his hands, basically. I don't know how he dropped that, Harrison. Flag, pre-snap, looks like offense. Yep, false start. Hoop pressure, he rolls out of it. Nope, not going to get away from it. He's chased down for the big sack, and it's going to be a punt from deep in Oregon State's territory. So good job by the defense. The wind seems really extreme soggy. I don't think the weather's that bad. And it's going to be caught around the 50, returned, going left to the 45, the 40, the 35, the 30, out of bounds at about the 25, so, oh no, flag down. Holding, that's going to move it back. That's really unfortunate. That was really good field position. I think the weather's killing him, Joshua, or the, the, the wind. Neither quarterback can really sling it very much right now. I'm going to put this one on the wind, honestly. It's so extreme. God damn it. What the hell are you doing, you idiot? Wait, did he actually hold him? I think he did, but that was weird. Kinda, David. Yeah, the run defense, not understanding this was going to be a run-heavy game is kind of disappointing. What do bath bombs even do? What do bath bombs do? I don't get it. It's not my birthday, Brandon. Thank you, though.
They make it a bubble bath. What's a big deal about that? How is that so desirable? What the hell does that mean? Relaxing and they usually have unique fragrance. Okay, maybe. I can buy that. Looks like we got a penalty. Yeah, false start. Unfortunate. I haven't taken a bath in so long. It, like... like Legitimately might be like 20 years. I don't have time for that. Who who has time to take a bath? Probably Marcus, yeah. Either him or Roseman. Hand off up the middle, nothing there. No hole at all. And he maybe got back, like, ha uh, back a yard. Second and 14. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate it. Snap. Penix drops back. Looks. Fires quickly to the right. Caught. Polk makes a man miss. He's about four yards short of the first down, so call it a 10-yarder. Third down and manageable. Green pass to Cam Davis. Well done, well executed, and that's going to be a first down. Nice little play drawn up there, and Cam Davis gets to the edge, picks up the first. App drops back. Another screen to Cam Davis. He's got some room. Gonna go out of bounds after about seven or eight. Second and three coming up. They're subbing in defensive players. It's second and two, so they're going to give him the eight. Yep. Blitz. Another screen pass. Caught. Polk first down inside the ten, down around the eight. And right now, we're just killing him with screen passes because Penix can't get anything deep down the field. Hmm. 
Green pass to McMillan. Uh, he makes a guy miss. Picks up maybe a yard and a half. Flag down though. I don't know. I don't think that was. Uh, I don't think that was the plan. <coughs> I don't think that play was a good use of time, and that's holding. So that's really not going to be a good use of time. Uh, that's actually going to be worse than a hold, I think. That's 15 yards. Ah, boy. Not good. Not good discipline tonight. Is it the blindside block? Well, it's first and goal from the 24-yard line now, so in a game like this, that really bites. Not enjoying this. Drops back, has plenty of time looking, looking, throws it. Incomplete. Yep. He's got some time. Looking, 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 looking. Pressure. Throws it left side. What is going on? If he can't push it down the field, then don't call plays where he drops back and looks for eight seconds. <clears throat> My God. This keeps happening in this game. He drops back, looks, 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 throws it away. Nobody's getting open, I guess. Okay, third and goal from the 24, so this is bad. Ooh, wide open in the corner. Touchdown, Westover. They just forgot to cover him. Let's go. Oh, boy. That bails us out of a disastrous sequence. He just completely forgot to cover the tight end. There is nobody even close to him. And the extra point. Extra point is good. 14-14. Go with it. Yeah, um, I'm guessing that's blindside block, right? Correct, Soggy. I feel good about this game right now in terms of winning it, but I have a feeling it's going to be ugly.
I don't think Penix has a tremendous arm. John Stillwell, thank you for the $5 super chat. Hope you are having a good night, Brendan. Uh, I'd say so. It'd be going better if we were playing up to our full potential. But it's going pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it's either going to be Pete or Nick Sirianni, I think, right? I know, House. A little disappointed. But, to a certain extent, it's understandable. They seem better prepared for a game in this weather than we are. Kickoff return comes back to about the 20, 21. Here we go. What's up, defense? I think the bowl gets knocked out when the Giants fade because they probably will. They're going to lose two games to the Eagles, another game to the Cowboys. They're going to probably lose some games to some bad teams too because they just kind of get lucky. Okay, what do we got? Eye formation, running play going right, and maybe two yards. Not bad. Run defense is sewn up just a little bit here, looks like. Completed to the right. Going to be a catch and run for a first down. Not a great job of limiting yards after the catch by the corner, but uh, that's about 10 yards. <clears throat> well, if you look at Coach of the Year, most years you have to have a really good record to get it. Like, uh... They actually do an okay job of not just giving it to the guy who did better than expected. They actually give it to the guy who usually had the overpoweringly good team. Drop back, pressure, he takes off. I don't know how that's not holding, but he goes down after a gain of like four yards. How is that not holding on the Oregon State offensive line? Somebody explain this to me. Yeah, let me let me uh, take a look at this here real quick. Uh... Yeah, Vrabel, 12 wins. Like, the times when it goes to a team that isn't that great would be like Stefanski, McVay, the first year they um, made the playoffs with Goff, and Bruce Arians with the Cardinals. Going up the middle, first down, and a few yards extra. <clears throat> they gave it to Bruce Arians also the year that uh, Chuck Pagano got, I think, cancer. And had to retire and he took over. But yeah, it's like 14 wins, 12 wins, 13 wins, 15 wins, 12 wins. Most of these teams have to be really good. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Screen wide receiver bubble screen. He's going to make a man miss and then get dropped after like a three yard pickup, maybe four. Second down coming up. Hey, Chronic Theory. Second and six, just past midfield. Come on, defense, do something. And we've got a stoppage. I think somebody called timeout. Yep, Oregon State called timeout. All right, let's go. No, Tommy. No, no, Tommy. I, uh, I just want to beat it. But you have to work very hard to beat that game. I'm close to the end in terms of what I need to do. But I'm potentially way too underleveled to do it. No, might not take a two-year contract. Oh, yeah, Sam, we definitely would be, but this, I mean, our defense isn't good enough for that. It's not like we should be undefeated, I don't think. Hole, first down, on a run up the gut. Uh, oh, wide open receiver running a streak down the sideline, overthrown, second and ten. <clears throat> Yikes. 
That could have been real bad. Hand off right, no gain. Third and ten. Here's your chance. Blitz coming, backed out of. Ooh, pressure. Oh, no. He grabbed the face mask. Oh, no. Well, this is going to be an automatic first down. That is killer. Oh, no. What was he doing? He had, there was no need for that. You had a clean shot at him. Drive was over, and now it's not. That that could be a game coster. Yeah, very, very blatant, too. What the hell was he thinking? Come on, man. Oh, boy, that, that's a huge swing. Handoff going right. Going to pick up like three. That is so brutal. Run play up the gut, going to pick up like five, set up third and short. <clears throat> third and two. Third and two. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Snap. QB keeper. First down and a whole bunch more. That's going to be a touchdown. And uh, that takes the wind out of the sails. Man. 19-yard rushing touchdown. Oregon State goes up a touchdown. Ton of time left, but... Uh, I was thinking this defense might be turning something around here, but they just kind of got it kicked out of them. And that is a massive, massive penalty in hindsight, ain't it? Especially now. Like, we knew it was big, but now it's just massive. Absolutely brutal.
I know, Sam, but uh thought this defense was maybe figuring something out in the second half. Maybe they made some nice adjustments. Not on that drive, and the f extra point's good. Kick off up to the 15, the 20, the 25. He's got some room up to the 30, the 30, maybe 33, 34. Decent field position. Snap, handoff up the middle, big hole, Talu Papa, first down, picks up maybe 12 yards. Hey, Chase. That's cool, Bash. Vikings are interesting cooks. What is wrong with the Texans? Why do they think anybody wants... Anybody wants to pay all that money to Brandon Cooks and give up a second and a fourth? That's more than what Roquan got. That's more than what you got for Roquan goddamn Smith. The hell is wrong with them?
At least Claypool's young, but Cooks is old. And he's had all those concussions. Uh, Soggy, I think it's a terrible trade for the Niners. Handoff going left to the Talupapa. I think he picked up like two or three. Second and eight, right near midfield. Penix drops back, throws it quick out to the left, caught, but going to be a couple yards short of the first. Hand off up the gut, first down. About a three yard pickup on third and one and that moves the chains. Nikhil Harry sucks though, Mask, right? I mean, he, he's bad at football. Ooh, big hole up the middle. First down, down around the 25. Okay, here we go. Drops back, looks, 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 looks. Throws it away. Oh, no, he didn't throw it away, but he should have. Caught for like a gain of negative three feet, maybe. Yeah, I don't think Richard Newton's played. Okay, third down. Third and uncomfortable. Pass going left, caught, first down, inside the five. O'Dunsey got open on the out route, and that is going to set up first and goal. Lester, we do this like six times a year, play this late. Running play, ooh, did he get in? Did he get in the end zone? Yes. Touchdown, Washington. Four-yard rushing touchdown for Talupapa. Yeah, there's actually college football every night at 7.30, but it still sucks because the game won't end until like 11. Extra point. 11 and a half minutes left, by the way. Uh, flood warning. What? What? 
I'm not in any of these counties. Oh, never mind. Oh boy, okay. Well, looks like we've got a little emergency broadcast. Why are these things so creepy? When I was a little kid, I hated these things. I guess you're supposed to. I mean, it's not a pleasant thing. The emergency broadcast system. Uh. Okay, can you please show the game? Like, I, I heard you the first time. Thank you. Yeah, Laquan had his best season last year, right? <clears throat> it wasn't great, but it was okay. But we we didn't activate him. Well, I guess we don't know yet. Oh, by the way, Mask, I sent you a DM. I don't know if you saw it. Take a number. I was lightning before the thunder. So I was watching this stream earlier today of the or a recorded stream of a guy who every time somebody every time they hit a ten dollar donation goal on stream, he had to restart uh Thunder by Imagine Dragons. And he ended up listening to it for like I think eight hours over and over and over again because people kept donating, like it was pretty funny. Okay, looks like we have a power outage. Yeah, the lights are out in the stadium. So, uh... I don't think they can play like this. Well, this is supremely annoying. Well, I'm going to see you guys shortly here. I'm going to go take a little break because this game is going to take a while to start back up. Be right back.
Well, um, I don't think they do ties in college under any circumstance. I assume they delay it. Like maybe they finish the game on on Sunday or something. I don't know. But I don't think they can just declare it a tie. So I'm probably not going to have any time to do Ragnarok, I'm sorry, Valhalla after the uh, after this, because this game is going to take forever to finish. So, I'm probably going to be doing it through most of tomorrow. So, apparently Boogie2988 made an OnlyFans. God, this is so sad. I mean, I was never a big fan of his, but I thought he was okay. Because he's desperate for money. He will do anything to get money right now because he's about to be broke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. They can play in the dark.
Well, ah, uh, boy. What is going on with the Jazz? How is this happening? They were supposed to win like 15 games. Like, how is this actually happening right now? It, it's... Well, they're going to do some warm-ups while they wait for the lights to come on. <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? More commercials. The advertisers are thrilled right now. Power went out at the game, Austin. Power went out.
Well, I'm not upset about that part of it, but this is certainly annoying. Yeah, I heard the Kraken are playing really well. <clears throat> oh, really, Bash? No, oh, thank you, Marcus. Welcome to the channel. It's not showing me who, but welcome to the channel. Power went out. Yeah, Bash. Um, I'm going to 002. Ah, 002, thank you for the sub. But yeah, I'm going to try to beat Valhalla as fast as I can. I'm going to play it a bunch tomorrow. I can't... I, I mean, I'm hoping I don't actually have to get to, like, power level 330 to finish the last area. Because that's going to take all day. Yeah, well, Bash, you do have to, uh, you have to get all of England to pledge to you before you can beat the game, right? It's not like Chrono Trigger where you can just end the game whenever. Well, I, what if I don't care about gold? What if I'm just trying to beat the game? Because, like, I mean, honestly, the game is not that good.
Like, straight up, the game is so buggy. Well, Bash, I'm hoping it's better than Valhalla. They need to actually earn some trust back, because I cannot believe that two years into it, Valhalla still has all these glitches. Like, I can't play the game for more than 15 minutes without running into, like, a pretty obvious bug or glitch. Luckily, most of them are just cosmetic and stupid. But, like, it feels like very little effort went into that game. Which sucks, because it's huge. If they put... If the game was good, it would be the best Assassin's Creed game, because it's so big, and there's so much to do. Okay, I think we're getting the kickoff. Black Flag and 3 are the best Assassin's Creed games. Yeah, I like 3 more. And the kickoff's going to go out of bounds. So, that's a great start. Oregon State getting the ball at the 40. Oh, 35, excuse me. Hand off up the middle, a little bit of a hole, four yards. And off going left. No, ooh, break us a tackle, but no gain. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, I'm just going to try to blow through the rest of the pledges. I have like four left. And I'm going to hope I don't get to a point where my level makes it impossible for me to do anything. Because I do not want to spend like a few hours grinding up. I mean, like I said, the game isn't even that good. Snap. Drops back. Looks, looks, has time. Throws it deep. Right side. Oh, he had a man open. But the ball could not find the target. This wind is uh, affecting things. And that will be a three and out for Oregon State. He got open deep. He had the six. He had six all day, but could not find the ball. <clears throat> yeah, that's the shame of it all. I think Valhalla is the worst Assassin's Creed game, and yet it is by far the longest. Now, it's not actually worse than, like, Assassin's Creed 1, of course, but it's the principle of it. At least the first Assassin's Creed was well-made and was good at the time. 
Like, Valhalla is certainly better to play, but it's so damn lazy. The game's been out for two years, and we still have, like, glitches where NPCs die in cutscenes and kill your, kill your, kill your ability to finish the mission. Okay, play action, pressure, going to be a quick dump off, incomplete. I don't know why, I guess it was a little bit off to Talu Papa. Yep. Penix throws deep after rolling out. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Very dangerous. I don't like this game plan right now. If Penix can't make throws deep because of the wind, then keep it short. Yeah, that's the Revolutionary War one. Okay. Third and ten. Drops back. Looks. Incomplete. Overthrew his tight end. That was a terrible drive from Penix. The first Assassin's Creed was not Al Enzo, it was Altair. And it wasn't in Italy, because that was the game where if you fell into water, you instantly died, which would have been a big problem in Italy. Punt. Gonna bounce. Roll inside the 40. Inside about the 36. I'm kind of worried about the next Assassin's Creed killing the franchise. Because I think it's they're going to try to do like a Fortnite thing where it's just a game that's perpetually updated. But like that that doesn't sound like what I want my Assassin's Creed game to be. All right. Handoff going right, finds a hole, decent hole, gets brought down from behind, 8-yard pickup. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed 2 trilogy did some really fun stuff with the story. It was really dumb, but it was also fun. They basically turned every historical event ever into this big conspiracy. And it's both impressive and really, really dumb. But I, I respect it. Snap, handoff, makes a man miss, picks up the first, about a three-yard pickup. Well, I just wish they would have kept the game stealth. Like, like the last three Assassin's Creed games, not really stealth games. You can play them stealthy, but you can also be a one-man army pretty easily. <clears throat> it, it plays more like Dark Souls than what Assassin's Creed is supposed to be. Which, I, I mean, I guess it sells better. Okay, first and ten. Handoff, big hole up the middle, nine yard pickup, taken down by his ankles.
Yeah. I don't know. For me to play Assassin's Creed at launch, I would have to, like, pre-order it. I don't know if I'm going to do that. They don't deserve my pre-order after what they did with Valhalla. Handoff up the middle. I think second effort gave him the first. That one was fine, Bash. I liked it well enough. It wasn't one of the best Assassin's Creed games, but it was good. I played it... Man, I must have been like 2015 now. It's been a while, but I did play it. Yeah, back when the game first came out, there was a glitch where when you tried to start the final mission, there was a 40% chance your save file would get deleted. So a lot of people got to the end and then didn't beat the game. <clears throat> That's going to be a run for about four yards, second down. I see, I didn't go to high school. How can I play high school football? Flag, going to be pre-snap. The fuck do I want a trailer with no fucking wheels? The fuck do I want a trailer with no fucking wheels? Six thirty left, second and thirteen. This is probably your last chance to stop them before they get into some kind of scoring range. Oh, actually, they can't really kick tonight. Ooh, run play going outside. Going to be blown dead. Flag. I think it was pre-snap. I don't know. I don't know how Valhalla sold, but I am kind of ready for Assassin's Creed to die. D delay of game, by the way. Like, that franchise has been around a long time. It's clear they don't really have much to do with it anymore other than just repeat the same thing over and over and over again. Um... So if the next... Assassin's Creed game does kill the franchise. I'm not going to be too sad about it. Snap. Going to be a screen pass to the back, and he's going to get wrapped up immediately by the defense. Cornerback was all over it. A defensive lineman came over to finish it. Well done, and that's third and long coming up now. Yeah, I loved Assassin's Creed 3 because I thought it was cool it was taking place in the Revolutionary War. And, um, admittedly, I think Black Flag's a better game, but three's my favorite. Okay, no dumb penalties. Hey, Charisma, what's up? They're just going to run it up the gut. He does find a little bit of a hole, picks up about seven. <coughs> but that will leave Oregon State in a punt. And there's going to be five minutes left or so, a little less. Do you have this done? Yeah, Bash, what was his name? The name of the... Kenway? What was the name of the main... Connor? The Assassin from 3. Really, Valhalla is the best-selling Assassin's Creed game ever? That's embarrassing. I have no idea, Austin. I have no idea. Well, honestly, all these games are inspired from The Witcher. And they're going to pin us inside like the three-yard line on the punt. So, that's unfortunate, but we're going to have plenty of time. Connor Kenway, thank you.
I miss the conspiracy story. Even though Black Flag is the best game and it's an awesome game for obvious reasons, it does kind of make me sad that that game marked the moment when um, Assassin's Creed kind of gave up on the conspiracy plotline and just decided to basically mess around with it as an excuse to make games. Okay, guys, I'll be right back during the commercial break. I got to get water. All right, pickup of like two, second and eight, ride receiver bubble screen, it's going to pick up like three, third and five, and if we don't get this with our punting game, it's, it's bad. And we have an injured Oregon State Beaver. Don't know who it is. Oh, it's uh, Rawls. His name is Rawls. As in Thomas Rawls. Big third down coming up regardless.
Ooh, gonna be a short completion and a first down to Culp. <clears throat> Eight yards. Nice little play for him to sneak out over the middle. Catch and run. First down. Let's go. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Life is too short for another damn Assassin's Creed game, I think, right now. Snap, Penix drops back, looks, sidearms it to Odunzi, like a six-yard pickup. Nice and easy. Handoff up the middle, big hole, first down and a bunch more. He almost made the second to last man miss, but he is brought down after a substantial gain. Nice run. The problem for the Huskies <clears throat> is can they kick a field goal? How close do you have to get to believe you can make a kick? 2.15 left. We have all three timeouts. Time not a big factor. Five wide. And my power is flickering, by the way, guys. So if I suddenly disappear from the stream, that's why. First and ten. Snap. Screen. Kind of a bubble screen. Gets a block. Picks up two yards. Maybe three. Difficult sledding, but not a bad play. <laughs> Second and seven. Drops back, looks right, throws it out of bounds. Yep, my lights are flickering, I can tell. So, unfortunately, um, I can only assume that other things could be coming next. For now, we are okay. No, I'm not going to do a DSP and start asking for money so I can pay the electricity bill because they're turning the electricity off. <laughs> that's that's literally what he would do, honestly. If his power starts flickering because I know he lives in Washington State, that's what he's going to do. Penix drops back, throws it over the middle, caught, first down, cross midfield, nice zip into Polk right over the middle of the field. Penix drops back, looks, fires over the middle, incomplete, knocked down, flag. I think that's going to be P.I. All right. Pass interference, yep. All right. Snap, quick pass out to the right side. Odunzi makes a man miss. Going to be pushed out of bounds just shy of a first down. Everything still all right? Thought I heard something funky.
first and ten. So they did give us the first. Blitz coming. Rolls out away from it. Looking, 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 looking. Throws it away. <coughs> Man, receivers getting open tonight's a real problem. Here we go, second and ten, snap. Going to be a screen pass to Cam Davis. He's got a little blocking, picks up like five yards. Third and five. Mm-hmm. Okay, third and six, officially. <clears throat> Penix has been mostly good on third down tonight. He's got shotgun with like five receivers. Yeah, five receivers. Well, one of them's Westover. Cam Davis comes back into the backfield, sprints out to the other side. And it's going to be a toss to him, and he's going to catch it. I think that's a first down. Interesting play design. Kind of a cool little play call there. Not a perfect pass, but Davis laid out to catch it. And he got past the marker. Not by much. Not a perfect throw, but a fantastic catch. <clears throat> All right. First and 10 from the 15 with 50 seconds left. We're doing a great job using the whole clock, by the way, guys. We're going to have as many opportunities as we want with all of our timeouts left. So we're using the clock great. Penix pushes up into the pocket, slides after picking up maybe two or three. We are in field goal range, I presume, for even a game like this. We're going to use a timeout with 32 seconds left. Get sweep to Jackson. He's got open space. The 10, the 5, he jumps forward for the first down. We are now inside the 5-yard line with 24 seconds left, first and goal. So this is a extra point to win it, or a touchdown to win it, either way. Oh. And goal. So do we trust the kicker?
Okay, what are we going to do here? First and goal. We still have two timeouts. Oh! Ooh, he rolled out, tried to hit a screen to an open receiver, but he couldn't bring it in. Incomplete. Second and goal now. <coughs> By the way, we got 80 people in here right now. Thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight. Please like the stream if you haven't already. It's probably, hopefully, it's going to be over in the next couple minutes here. Second and goal. Snap, roll out. Penix looks, fires in the flat. I think that's, in, okay, he dropped it, incomplete. Third and goal, so one more shot, and then you're kicking a uh, chippy. Yeah, so this will be over by like 11.15, which is not that bad given that the game started at 7.30 and had a delay. But I still don't know if I feel like playing anything. I kind of just want to go to bed. Especially with the power flickering. Okay, third and goal. And Penix is going to run to the middle of the field and lay down at like the five. So they're setting up the... Chippy to win it. Going to be about 22 yards. 23. Timeout. With two seconds left. And... They're, they can't ice. They have no timeouts. I think. Alright. All right, fourth and goal. 22-yarder. And it's good. Flag, I think. <coughs> There's a flag down. But they're acting like it's against the defense. Yeah, they're saying it's on the D. And they're also saying there are eight seconds left on the clock, which isn't right since there were just two seconds. Leaping. So I guess there's going to be a kickoff, so we could have a Stanford band moment. I guess they called a timeout with 10 seconds left so they could have one more chance. So, uh, let's see what we got. And we're going to be able to kick this out of the back of the end zone, actually. So we're going to be looking at, like, the lateral play.
Yeah, Bash, you can't multi-like. Okay, they're going to do the bouncing kickoff, and it's going to bounce. Wow. All the way down to the five. <coughs> Lateral. There's going to be a tackle at the one-yard line. And there's going to be one second left. Oregon State will have a chance to run a play, but they either have to go 98 yards or they're going to need a penalty. All right. And sportsman like on Washington. So that does at least allow them to ha only have to go 84 yards instead of 99 yards. Uh, all right. Barring penalty. Last play of the game. No, it's not. What are you talking about, Emmett? Don't be doing that shit to me. Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Snap. Quarterback drops back. Fires it short over the middle. Hook and ladder. <coughs> thrown backwards to the quarterback. He throws it across the field to his receiver. His receiver makes a man miss. Back at about the line of scrimmage. Gets, oh, ooh, that pitch gets intercepted. Very nice. And that'll do it. Washington wins 24-21. All right. And that'll do it. Uh, that took a little bit longer than we wanted it to, but, uh, it got to the place we wanted it to go. Um, ooh, we've got a little bit of a fight on the sideline here because the game just ended and, uh, there seems to be some unhappy Oregon State Beavers with the way that game ended. But anyway, all right. So, uh, it, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting out there. And look, if I knew the weather was going to do what it did. The wind making it impossible to kick more than an extra point, making it impossible for quarterbacks to reliably hit balls deep, making it really hard for them to get balls up. You know what? I want to see this. I'm going to re-record that because I want to see what's going on here real quick. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, game just wrapped up. Took a little bit of an unusual path, but it eventually got to a good place. Um, it, it, it was definitely one of those games where it, it felt like the, the loss was coming throughout most of it. it. It didn't give you a good feeling for a lot of the game. And it didn't flow the way that I was hoping going in, but you found a way anyway, and you're you're seven and two now. So uh, twenty four twenty seven, you dub. We had a fun uh, stream. I actually started the stream like twenty minutes late because I forgot. I, I I messed up. But um, yeah, we had a great time in the stream. By the end, we had like eighty plus people in there. It was great. Usually my husky streams don't get that many people, but that one, this one, um, kind of blew up at the end because it was such a good finish. Um, yeah, if, if I knew the weather was going to do what it did, I wouldn't have had the predictions that I did. I'll say that, like, I, I can't put too much on these players because the weather was, was a big problem. You couldn't kick, nobody tried a field goal in this game, and you couldn't reliably get the ball down the field from your quarterbacks because their, their deep balls couldn't penetrate the wind for a good chunk of that game, so you were limited to short stuff. If I knew it was going to be that bad, I would not have expected explosions from this uh, 
from this offense the way I did, but it, it was a slog. It was a uh, it was immensely difficult to break through on that Oregon State defense. They did a good job playing the run. And the run was most of what they needed to play because so much of our passing playbook was denied to us because Penix, I mean, he, he didn't really have that great of a game. He definitely missed some throws. The interception was terrible. That had nothing to do with the weather. He missed a couple other throws. But the main problem was just couldn't get the ball down the field reliably because the wind was killing him. I think it was like 40 miles per hour at one point. But the, the reason why we spent most of this game playing from behind was I think... Oddly enough, Oregon State was a little more prepared to play a game like this than we were. Um, we we couldn't run the ball for a good chunk of this game. We ran the ball a little bit better later in the game. We had some moments here and there. There were some moments of um, running in game competency, but for the most part, we struggled. And early in that game, Oregon State was mowing us down. I, I mean, I, I uh, missed part of the first drive, but they just shoved it down our throats on the ground. And they spent a good chunk of the first half doing that. Uh, luckily, things corrected a little bit. But to me, that was the main reason why this game got so competitive and why we had to win it basically at the buzzer. They were able to run the ball very well on us with no passing game, and we we, we just couldn't quite do it. But uh, I got to give big ups to this offense for what they did at the end of this game after a real struggle. They go on basically a 95, 96-yard drive. To kick the game-winning field goal. They used the whole clock, essentially. They moved down the field without timeouts. They pick up some third downs, some big third downs. Uh, excuse me. And I I think that while it, it wasn't their best game, it's completely understandable why. And if you're going to come through in that moment, in that situation, then you're doing everything that you can do at the end of the day. So I'm uh, I'm happy. Penix, who missed a lot of throws, came through when it mattered the most, had a couple nice running plays there at the end, Cam Davis, beautiful run, beautiful catch on that last drive, and the defense, I think we got a little bit lucky that Oregon State couldn't kick any field goals because it forced them to go for it, which played to our favor, but um, they, they did get better as the game went on, they did improve a little bit later in this game compared to how it was early, and I... I, um, I, I, I don't know. It, it, it seems to me that when you're in a game like this against a team that isn't very good passing the ball and you know that they're going to be running the ball anyway and then the windstorm comes up, it's like, I, I wish this team was just a little more prepared for playing this particular game. Oregon State looked a little more prepared to me in this game than Washington. And we should have a better understanding of what the conditions are going to be like because it was a home game. Um, obviously, the power outage kind of probably, well, maybe sort of kind of-ish messed things up for the end of this game. It was 21-21, Oregon State getting the ball. Oregon State's not going to be happy. I'm sure they're going to file some kind of complaint that the game got delayed for about 20 minutes. Because after that moment, they went three and out, and we drove down to win the game, and th that was about it. So, realistically, Oregon State's probably going to have a bone to pick about that situation because it was a game in our stadium. But um, they, they came to play when it mattered the most. They got a little bit of quarterback pressure when they needed it. Um, they were able to finally stop the run. As this game went on outside of that one touchdown drive in the third quarter, they got better against the run. I think they made some pretty decent halftime adjustments. The offense helped by staying on the field as much as they did, of course. But um, I, I, I guess you just sign off on this one as a successful game, right? This is like we said in the pregame video. This Oregon State team is good. They're worth taking seriously. They came in there with a good game plan. They probably punched a little bit above their uh, weight class. And they, they almost won the game. They were right there. But uh, UW continues to be powered by their offense. Uh, seven wins. I, I would call that pretty much a successful season. Um, getting to seven wins. Before the season started, I looked at the schedule. I looked at the team. I thought to myself, we're going to win seven games this year. Well, we're already there. And we've still got games left, winnable games. I know we play Oregon. 
And I know that's going to be un not fun. I know. I think we play Utah still. That's not going to be fun either. We do get the Cougars. I know that. Um, I think we still play Arizona. So, uh, at this point, we're playing with house money, I guess. And it's, uh, it's just going to have to be good enough. Because at the end of the day, college programs usually don't turn around from, you know, bottom feeders, which is what we were last year, to elite. So, the path they are on right now is totally fine. Uh, yeah, um, Colorado. Uh, somebody in chat just pointed out we already beat Arizona. I get Arizona and Arizona State mixed up, but yeah, okay. Colorado is a layup. We don't have to play Utah, and of course we get our bowl game. So there's a chance to exceed expectations a little bit here. Going to be a really fun Apple Cup, I think. That could have a lot on the line for the Huskies maybe even having a great season. But yeah, uh, tonight was interesting. There were some severe conditions that changed the way the team needed to play. I didn't love the way we adjusted to it. There were a lot of plays where Penix would drop back and he'd look, 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 look. Nobody would get open. He would throw it away. Um, I think part of the problem also was he couldn't push the ball down the field, so don't call plays where he needs to. The best things we did on offense in this game was when we completely reverted to the screen stuff, when we started just throwing uh, screen passes to uh, running backs, bubble screens, dump offs to tight ends. That stuff worked really well, and that stuff kind of kept the wind out of the game. So I would have liked to have seen more of that. But uh, yeah, successful game. You did it. Now let's uh, try to build on the good foundation that we already have set up with these seven wins. All right. See you guys later. Bow down to Washington. Good game. Interesting game. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hope that I'm going to hope that my lights stay on tonight, of course. But uh, I'll see you guys in the morning for the pregame video. All right, guys, thanks for coming out for the stream tonight. I'm going to get that uploaded, and I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I'm going to bed. Hopefully my power stays on. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. It was fun. We got the job done.